Good morning from Alaska. of traveling we are finally here in Valdez Alaska so excited <laughs> all right so check that falls out This drive is actually pretty amazing, especially when you get, uh, especially when you get to uh, Thompson Pass. Since we started driving from our campground, I think we've seen so far about four falls just down this road, and it's in a matter of about 30 minutes of driving. So after almost 40 hours of traveling, we are finally here at the uh, fishing spot. It's called the Allison Point. We've missed this place so much. It's been about a year or so. All right, so I finally got done setting up. I'm using a Chartreuse uh, Blue Fox Vibrax and Kay is using this orange uh, Vibrax. So we'll see who can catch fish first. All right, folks, so it started raining uh, a little bit, so had to change uh, wardrobes. Yeah, definitely looking forward to fishing this spot. It's been about a year, just happy to be here. Just excited to catch some salmon. All right, so this is what the fishing spot looks like. So definitely be careful with the rocks. Uh, there's a lot of rocks here and they're pretty slippery. So, but uh, yeah, so this is the, fishing spot here at Allison Point here in Valdez, Alaska. I'm trying to be careful not to uh, slip on these rocks. So Ever so often you can see some pinks that have already spawned up uh, just swim around this area. There's actually a couple of them just swimming back and forth here. Oh, 
I think, uh, not sure if it's just a silver. That was the first cast too. So we'll find out. Oh, it's a silver. First cast, oh my God. Woo, first cast. Here. Oh, it is a silver, folks. It is a silver. All right, just trying not to lose him. Woo! Oh, watch out, watch out. Sorry. All right, here it is. All right, and get in, get in. Oh, get in. Oh, whoo. It's a big one. Whoo. It's big. And there's a seal just following the, the cold salmon, but man, that's huge. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a pink, but uh, yeah, it's a big silver. You definitely want to uh, make sure to bleed them as soon as you catch them, and that keeps the, uh, the meat fresh. Silver salmon here in Valdez, Alaska. Oh, uh, look at that seal. Actually, that's a sea lion, and it's huge. Fish on. Look at that, folks. All right. Try to get in. Get in. All right. Go in. Woo! Hey, check this out, folks. So, silver number two. Man, this is awesome. So, just had a, another fish on, but check this place out. So, there's a lot of like very nice scenery, very Alaska. Uh, this one in front of us, that's actually the Port of Valdez, and that's basically located right next to the uh, downtown area of Valdez. And then on the other side where we're at right now is the is the campground right behind cave right there you can see there's a lot of glaciers on top of that mountain but check this out so there's a lot of fish here so in our last video a couple of folks have asked uh, what are those uh, fish that are swimming around so they're actually spawned up either uh, chum so that's a pink salmon right there and there's a couple of chums that are just kind of swimming around so there's a bunch of them right there there's a really good looking one over there so there's they're actually pretty close but most of the time the silvers are in there somewhere Woo. another fish on it looks kind of I think we're snagged. Are we snagged? All right. Oh, he's uh, 
He's a spawner. Is it a male one or a female one? I think it's a male one. Please don't come off. Oh, there you go. In the net. Woo. Just caught another one. Check this out. So this guy's, this guy's a beast. His nose is kind of hooked. So I'm not sure if this is a male or female, but uh, definitely comment down below if you think this is a female salmon or male salmon. Nice. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I got this, I got this. <laughs> All right. Oh, I still got it. Woo. Woo. It's pulling. Man. I bet you it's not that big. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, in the net. Oh. Woo. All right. Woo. So just caught another big silver. Look at that. Man, nice silver. Alaska folks typically use uh, spinners but uh, in Washington they use these things called buzz bombs so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna go ahead and use a buzz bomb to see if I can catch anything up here in Alaska now I have a feeling that I'm gonna be able to catch a fish with that since it works down in Washington we've actually tried using spinners down in Washington uh, but we haven't really caught anything. Uh, the only thing about Washington though is that the fish are pretty far away from the shore. So, I don't know, we'll see. But I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a try. See if we can catch anything. Typically in uh, Washington, you can't use anything that has uh, barbs if you're targeting salmon. But here in Alaska, uh, you can actually use uh, treble hook with barbs. So we'll go ahead and give that a try but the biggest thing is the buzz bomb right here. All right, and Kay actually snagging. ended up catching a silver. It was just right in front at the shore uh, and he's just snagging. Yeah, just from the shore right there. Uh, and she's actually snagging. So this guy right here ended up uh, swimming right in front of her. Here it is, folks. So there's the buzz bomb. And just gonna go ahead and cast it very far away and start jigging. <laughs> 